We may not realize it, but Google Maps has revolutionized our lives in more ways than one. Most of the apps we use wouldn't be possible without their tech. We no longer have to rely on bystanders for navigation, and for the first time, we can actually see all the travel destinations we'd never be able to visit in high detail. That being said, there have been times when Google Maps has managed to give us quite the creeps too. People have found some bizarre and mysterious stuff just looking through Google Maps and its Street View feature, ranging from harmlessly creepy to downright horrifying. 10. A possible Scientology Base Scientology is a weird mix of science and religion, with quite a bit of aliens thrown in, that we really don't have the space to get into right now. We often hear about it when a Hollywood celebrity gets associated with it, which is probably for the best as it's all too complicated to understand. What's weird, however, is that there are several sites around the USA and the world suspected to be Scientology bases. One of them is the Trementina base in New Mexico, which is visible from Google Maps. It's just two overlapping circles with diamond shapes in their centers, and someone has clearly gone to great lengths to make it. While most people thought that it was a facility meant to flag aliens making their way to Earth, or something, an ex-Scientologist denied the claim as that would be ridiculous. No, according to him, the facility actually has a sensible purpose, which is to guide other members towards L. Ron Hubbard's works that have apparently been written on gold sheets and kept in titanium boxes. Nine bodies in a dumpster catching just a quick glimpse of this Google Maps image might be a bit disturbing. Have you stumbled across a town of murderers or cannibals? The moment seems to have occurred on trash collection day, with garbage cans lining the pavement at the side of the road. Among the bins, boxes, and generic rubbish, however, there are some rather creepy additions to the pile of unwanted goods. Stuffed into the cans or scattered at the side of the road is a collection of what has been described as dead bodies. The user who came across this image described the scene, writing, Google Street View captures a dumpster full of dead bodies in Chile. Indeed, around six human-like figures can be seen among the rest of the trash. One is face down in front of the cans, and another stuffed upside down into a can with its legs flailing in the air. Slumped beside the third bin, one of the figures almost looks like it is sitting on the curb. Another body can be seen wedged into a can so that just its head and arms pop out. While the scene may have left users aghast, at first, on closer inspection, it seems these human forms might not be actual people. The color and fabric-like material they appear to be made from suggests they are actually mannequins. Eight giant disfigured bunny imagine just browsing through Google Maps and accidentally running into a giant, disfigured pink bunny out of nowhere. Located in northern Italy, its face is all out of shape and visibly screaming, giving the whole thing an even more unsettling vibe. If you stumble upon it, you may assume that your app is glitching or that someone actually went to great lengths to build a giant creepy bunny for people looking from above. Fortunately, it's the latter, and it doesn't involve the occult. In reality, the bunny is a part of an art installation by a Viennese collective and is meant to serve as a hangout spot for visitors. One of the members says that it's supposed to be a huge thing that makes you feel small, which it probably does if you see it up close. From afar, though, it has that look of an abandoned, mangled bunny that so many horror movies begin with. 7. Nogoro, Japan If you're ever exploring the Japanese countryside on maps, the chances are that you'll stumble upon the sparsely populated village of Nogoro. From a distance, it may look like it's full of people casually chilling around all over town. Zoom in a bit, and you'll realize they're actually lifeless dolls. We hope you didn't do this when you were all alone at night, the village is actually on its way to being completely abandoned, as its residents keep leaving it for better opportunities in the cities. The dolls are made by a woman named Ayano Tsukimi as a tribute to its departed, which is inexplicably the only way she could come up with to do that. We don't know about you, but knowing that all of those dolls represent someone who is now dead does raise the creepy factor of the whole thing for us. Six underwater pyramids While we're strictly against conspiracy theories, unless they're creepy or awesome, mysterious locations found on Google Maps have done their part in giving credence to many of them. One of them is the underwater pyramid found on Google Maps in the Bahamas. Many tabloids and conspiracy lovers hailed the discovery as proof of aliens, Atlantis, and a wide variety of other things that probably aren't real. 
It was found by a conspiracy theorist, too, though that doesn't mean that the structure doesn't actually exist. Some experts believe that it may have been something built by an ancient civilization, though they also admit that there's no way to disprove that it's not a secret alien base. Five Pigeon People If you explore the streets of West Tokyo on maps, you may run into a row of people just standing and looking at you. They may come across as people just staring at the Google Street View crew out of curiosity, except all of them have their pigeon masks on. Aside from the legitimate question of, where did they even get so many pigeon masks to begin with, it's all rather inexplicable and unsettling. As it turns out, the pigeon people were locals who knew about the Google crew and wanted to appear in the final photo of the street. It's all rather harmless and fun, provided you know the explanation. 4 Abandoned Gas Masks Exploring Pripyat in Ukraine The site of the worst nuclear disaster in history, is a horrifying experience in general. It is now a ghost town with abandoned buildings that won't be inhabited again for a long, long time to come. And it has that dilapidated look we hear at list verse thoroughly love. However, the creepiest sight in the whole town has to be the room full of abandoned masks, which is saying a lot in a town full of creepy sights. We don't know if it's so disturbing because there are so many of them or that they're child-sized and located inside an abandoned school. 3 El Bronx, Columbia El Bronx in Bogota, Colombia, had managed to earn the reputation of one of the most dangerous places in the city before it was demolished. One of the most crime-riddled regions in the country, it certainly didn't make for a nice walk at night, or any time of the day, really. While the area doesn't exist anymore, Google Street View crew managed to capture it at the peak of its glory. Unfortunately, what may look like normal streets of a slum are made multiple times more horrifying if you knew that the neighborhood was known for child prostitution and murder. Some of those buildings also housed murder victims at times, who were then fed to starving dogs as a message to rival gangs. Two Ariel Castro's blurred out house when it comes to highly publicized, gruesome acts of crime, very few cases managed to grip national conscience like that of Ariel Castro. He kidnapped three women and kept them hostage for over nine years and was only arrested when one of them escaped with her six-year-old child, whom she conceived and gave birth to while in captivity. Castro was charged with multiple counts of rape, aggravated murder, kidnapping, and attempted murder, among others. So, how is it related to map locations? The house Castro kept the women in could be seen on Google Street View. Except now, it's completely blurred out. We'd say that it'd have been equally creepy if the house was just there, but seeing it blurred out because of the seriousness of the crime somehow makes it even more disturbing. One murder victim for those who've always wondered if Google Maps has ever accidentally recorded a serious crime, we're here to tell you that, yes, it has. The case in question was of a 14-year-old boy in Richmond, California, whose dead body showed up on Google Maps. It was seen with police cars and a bunch of detectives standing around, suggesting that it was taken after the body was found. Understandably, the images brought back some emotions for the victim's father, who immediately requested Google to remove the image. It was gone from their maps within days, though it does make us wonder if Google Maps still has accidental images of other serious crimes around the world.